Hello everyone, welcome to the learning session on Tally's integration with web applications. Let's start with the example of Agarwal & Sons, a consumer goods company which operates through a huge network of distributors who place orders on a regular basis for replenishing their stock. To ensure greater supply chain visibility, that is to track the stock position at the distributor's place and to update them with the latest stock items, the company is in need of a solution. The management has approached a Tally partner to inquire about the feasibility of a solution using Tally ERP9. The partner suggests that if Tally ERP9 is installed at the distributor's locations and customized to construct and send XML requests for the company's web application to understand, this would facilitate pulling stock item masters from the web application into Tally and pushing sales information from Tally to the web application on a daily basis. Thus, the integration process would consist of two steps, data extraction from the web application and data updation into the web application. During data extraction, Tally must send an XML request to the web application asking for the list of updated stock items. The XML response received will consist of the latest stock items list which will be updated in Tally. During data updation to the web application, the XML request must consist of the details of day-to-day -day items sold which will be updated in the web application's database and an acknowledgement will be sent back as the response. Being the initiator of the request, Tally acts as the client and the web application acts as the server responding to every request from Tally. The XML request response formats can be any format agreed between the TDL programmer and the web application programmer. Let's have a look at the sample DDL code used for this purpose. To extract item masters from the web application into Tally, a report must be designed to construct XML tags for the XML request to be sent. The request is sent using the collection artifact of TDL. The web application responds with an XML response containing the stock item details, which will also be available in the collection. A TDL function must be used to walk over the resultant XML collection and create the stock item objects in Tally. If units are not present in Tally, they need to be created first. The execution sequence is as follows. First, the user-defined function is called by clicking on the particular menu item. This function triggers the collection through the action walk collection. The collection is meant to send the XML request. The attribute remote URL specifies the URL of the application. The remote request attribute specifies the name of the report to gather XML tags as the first parameter and the format as the second parameter. Once this request is sent, the web application responds with an XML response holding the object's information in the agreed format, which is also held by the same collection. The XML object path attribute specifies the path to be traversed to gather the required objects. The function processes the subsequent actions within walk collection and continues till the last object, that is the last stock item, is walked upon. In each loop, the stock item is being created by using the actions new object, set value, and save target. For updating the item sales information to the web application, the process is quite similar. The only difference is that the XML request would now consist of sales information. Only the vouchers which have not been sent previously are sent in the subsequent XML requests and they are identified by a flag in the company object which holds the master ID and the alter ID of the last voucher set. The report is constructed with the sales transactions where the master ID is greater than the last master ID value in the company object. If the response XML contains a success message, then the last master ID sent needs to be updated in the company object to prevent resending in the next iteration. The TDL code is attached in Tally, using which we can carry out the integration activities. Let us now go through a live demo. Following is a sample interface created in the application. Click Master Info. We can see that there is no master at present. 
Let's create a few stock item masters in the application. The items created can be viewed in the master info screen. In Tally, go to Gateway of Tally, Inventory Info, Stock Items. It can be seen that currently there is no stock item in Tally. To pull the item masters into Tally, go to the new menu item and select Request Items. The XML requests and responses in this case are as follows. Go to Gateway of Tally, Inventory Info, Stock Items to verify the details of the imported stock items. Before pushing any voucher information from Tally, check the existing sales information in the application. Now create a couple of vouchers in Tally. Click the new menu item, Web Integration, and select Send Sales Info to transfer the voucher data into the web application. The XML requests and responses in this case are as follows. Acknowledgement is received in the form of a success message. For more information, refer to documents on integration present on our website or in case of any doubts or queries, email us at support.tallydeveloper at tallysolutions.com.